Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Here today with the host of the Ask Podcast, Mike Williver, is just hanging out at my house. I'm gonna give you a gear review today on this slightly larger safe. A couple, like, a couple weeks ago, we did this Winston safe that I've been using in my pickup truck, but this one more bigger. More bigger. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So this is a big deal, right? And uh, a lot of folks are, are like, wait a minute, John, do I need a residential security container? Um, Mike, in all your career in law enforcement, how many times do you see people lose guns that were unlocked in vehicles or in homes? I've seen cops lose guns that are unlocked in vehicles and homes. I mean, it's crazy. We, we had an ATF agent in San Diego. Unfortunately, somebody jacked his entire police car and they caught them working on the safe at their house. They stole the car, took it to their little tweaker pad, and they were getting after it with a blowtorch and some pliers trying to get into it. So yeah, always have your gun locked up. So this is a big thing with these guys though. Of course, okay, so your tweaker who's gonna steal the entire car and then cut the cable with a, you know, a set of cable locks or whatever, cutters, uh, that's not what these are designed to stay out of. Right. These are designed, okay, so this little guy in the car, the guy that's gonna smash and grab, mm -hmm. right? That's just gonna run away with stuff. In the home, this is not going to stop a burglar who has a crowbar and an owl. Sure. It's just not. I mean, it's going to stop a 10 year old. There it is. These are designed for your home. This is going to stop the curious 10 year old that, of course, should not be home alone with loaded guns that are left in residential security containers. Of course, those guns should be unloaded and stored in a safe. Um, and of course, if you have one in here because you're at home, it's because you're at home and you're supervising your children, right. but it keeps the curious ones out. Um, I think that, you know, I have people in my home who have made legit attempts on their life. And so this helps them to uh, pass the impulse storm. Another uh, another good point is we have a, for example, we have a special needs nephew who comes to the house sometimes yep. and it's critical that he doesn't get a hold of any loaded guns. And so any guns, period, yeah, yeah. full stop, right? So we have to have this. Now this is another one from Winston and, and I get it. Some people were like really frustrated at this one. Um, and there was a couple people that were just all kinds of upset about the lock picking lawyer. Quite frankly, I gotta be honest with you. I respect that channel. I think he's kind of a cool channel and I think you can go there and say, well, can a professional lock picker pick this lock? Yeah, pretty quick. Yeah. And, but that's not what it's for. That's, that's not what it's designed for. And to get one up there, this is super expensive if you're gonna get one that'll handle that kind of intrusion request. But this isn't what this is designed for. So this guy's more the bedside safe or a bigger safe, right? So whereas I would take this guy on an airplane and one of the reasons I love this guy on an airplane, notice there's no other way to unlock it other than your biometric unless right. you have the key with you and you go, this is the key. I love this on an airplane. When they go, well, you need to give us the key. Here it is. You may take it to the bag or you may take the bag to the, the key. Here's the key, right? right? Um, that's a great thing. This one's a little bit bigger and I wanna show you why I kinda like it. So it does have the biometric on it. The biometric works just as well. Oh, and About that, I watched John set this up for the video. It took him about a minute to get, I don't know, 10 fingerprints into that thing. It was really fast. Yeah, and, and it works and it's not orientation dependent. I really like that. So let's see what it does here. If it likes that, good. It opens very quickly. So again, um, if I do that, this is a little awkward to try to stick my right. thumb on things, but you can see it opens very, very quickly. Second thing I like about this guy, it's the right depth. I really like the depth on this one because as you see, this is my everyday carry gun. Happens to be unloaded right now because we're doing using it for videos, but holstered guns aren't pointed, doesn't bother me any. Um, but one of the reasons I love this, this is my P30. Um, this particular one is um, my everyday carry gun. And in my everyday carry holster, and guess what? I don't even have to take it out of the holster. Pull that, sets all in there, closes down, boom, safe and easy. Yep. And now the reason that I love that is less administrative gun handling. Right. And, and so instead of, I gotta uh, draw the gun and now I've, I've got a loaded live gun that's in my hand, always an opportunity for bad stuff to happen. Right. Instead, pop the holster, the entire holster comes out, trigger guard's completely covered, goes in here, super awesome. If I need it, get in there with my stuff, you know, my biometrics and off it comes. You can whip, whip that holster off pretty quickly if you need to. If there's a home invasion, the holster's gonna come off. Yeah, yeah. well, and actually I kind of like it for the home invasion scenario. And the reason that I do is, you know, you see a lot of people is they come in here and they wanna open this and they go, no, I don't want anything impinging. 
man, if somebody broke into your house, you just heard glass break, something like that. Having that extra second of, okay, I did something stupid and just grabbed a hold of this and then I go, oh, I have to take off the holster. Boom, now I've got that thing. And at least that gives me that extra brief second of thinking about, let's make sure, gun is pointed in the direction of least consequence, finger high and in register. And uh, you know, again, it's being used to defend my home, so it should be loaded. Nice gun, by the way. Yeah, I like this guy very much. This is um, my everyday carry gun. It's a Robar HKP30, and you see it on the channel all the time, right? Uh, <clears throat> love that gun. So, uh, a couple other things though. I wanna do one thing is, this guy's got an emergency backup USB, so you can put a little power in it. it does have an emergency key on it as well. You can so see it's right there. battery powered. It's battery powered, four triple A's. They say that those triple A's should last anywhere from six months to a year. Um, I'd probably replace them at a quarter? I mean, yeah. four AAA batteries, right? It's not like it's really that big a deal. So um, I like, I feel this, it feels like it's got a good heft. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. It's not, it's not light. It's actually just right, actually. So I tell you what we're gonna do. Mike and I are gonna do something that's just a little bit different. We're, we're just hanging out here on Saturday and this is gonna post tomorrow, filming for this. They sent me this for review. I like what I see. The biometrics are fast. The, the makeup is pretty cool. A Couple of things I wanna show you and then I'm gonna do something with it that I don't know that people were expecting, but we'll see. So uh, one of the things that I like about the lock on this particular one, opens quick, right? So one second entry, that's pretty awesome. The other thing that I noticed here on this one, I'm gonna set this down here, um, is that the lock mechanism on this one is protected. It's a little bigger. The lock mechanism on this little guy, you're right, you could slide some stuff in here and kind of get stuff inside that pretty quick. Now, it's got a lip inside it. I think it's harder than you think it is. But this guy, you can see, it's quite a lip to get underneath there, and then that protects the uh, teeth that are where this connects in. So it's got a pretty good mechanism, and that mechanism, to me, looks metal. So I think, not like, you know, metal, but like made out of metal, right? right? Um, and so I think that this guy is gonna be a little bit more tamper-proof, quite frankly. It's not gonna stop somebody with a crowbar. No. But again, what do guys do? I mean, in 30 years in law enforcement, how do we see guys that when they break into a home, do they come with crowbars? Uh, sometimes they do actually, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, generally no, but sometimes they do. Uh, this would be something they would try to just remove the entire unit and work on it later. Right. Um, so this isn't, it's just not, as John said, it does not replace a safe in your home. This is for when your home is either going to be uh, inaccessible to children and other people. I, I have a friend who had, kid had a party when he was out of town and he came home when a shotgun was gone. One of his uh, friend's uh, knucklehead, uh, son's uh, knucklehead kids took a shotgun. Dang, man. Yeah. Um, comes with this too, right? So you've got the, the lock up on this. So the way that you would do that, put it through whatever it is you want to not, you know, get rid of like your bed or something like that, that it's be a real pain to take you along could, with you. You could throw a lag bolt in the wall too. You absolutely throw yeah. a lag bolt in the wall, right? And mount that correctly. And then again, so this guy sits here, boom, closes down. Now it's attached to the wall. Um, this is a very good thing. I will say this, I think that it's maybe a little much to ask us to take something like this and you know spike it from a high level because again, especially if it's attached to something, that's not real. But um, I do think that maybe where it sits on your nightstand, you wanna think about if it fell off that, mm -hmm. is it gonna handle that kind of an impact? Is um, if, I, if, if I had uh, somebody who picked it up and wanted to kind of toss it down from there, will it come open? So, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's figure it out, shall we? Maybe like, you know, the bad guy takes it off here and like slams it down. And this is a carpeted floor, right? So you can see like, it's seriously, it's a weekend. I'm sitting here in sweatshorts and a t-shirt, right? It's life. Yeah. Um, or maybe, you know, you're making mad, passionate whoopee or something. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, easy. Um, and you knock it off this kind of thing. That's possible. That could happen. Yes. And will it do that? I don't know what the answer is here. We're gonna about to find about out. To find out. We're about to find about to be in the midst. In the midst. Right in the midst. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Watch my toes. So we're gonna go just like a flat drop first. One, two, three. <laughs> Did not open. Nope. <clears throat> Side drop, and I'm gonna move over. You're gonna move, get out of the way a little bit. How about a corner drop? Like I think that would be the worst drop. You think? Probably. Like front it, corner, yeah. Like front corner. All right. Let's see. Nope, it's fine. My wife is now gonna murder me because I just hit my brand new uh, ah, side no table. No, no harm. No marks, no. good, it's good, it's fine. Um, last one, we're gonna hit it on a back edge. See what it does. Watch your toes too while you're at it. Oh, that one fell over, um, but it still didn't open. 
it did. It sounds like it opened the uh, stuff. Now, it did knock the batteries out. When I hit it on the back edge, it knocked the batteries out. But so that's I, okay. There's other ways to open it. I'm gonna have to get the key to get this bad boy open. But it it handled all the drops, and that's what matters, right? Um, I'm not gonna spike it. I don't think that's a realistic way. No, I mean, so, like we talked about earlier, if if someone gets this and gets it out of the house, they're gonna get it open eventually. But right. this is gonna prevent a kid or someone else unauthorized from getting in there and getting to your firearm. Legit. Okay. So I opened it and exactly what I thought happened, happened. So you actually see the impacts on it actually pulled the holster off. It knocked everything around enough that it was still in the holster because I didn't have enough room to come out of it, but it was kind of like sitting halfway. Okay, fine, we had an unloaded gun and yep, it knocked the batteries out, but uh, the safe survived. You know what I like really is these keys. They're not tiny little losable keys. They're big chunky right? keys. Thank you very much for that. And what would you do with those keys? You'd put them in your safe. And by the way, they don't look like safe keys. They look like maybe some kind of weird car key or something. Right? They do. So it wouldn't be the first key I grabbed if I was trying to break into someone's safe. Just to show you, uh, you put the batteries in. There's a little battery spot here. And a light inside, which is yeah, nice. which is kind of cool. No, I think this is a good little safe. Uh, I think a residential security container, I should say. Uh, you got to watch your terminology, right? It's not a safe. It's not underwriter, underwriter's laboratory. You could call it a lock box. A lock box. It's a locking box. Okay, there's that. There's those. Let's see if it retained your fingerprint. That's what it's going to be a question, right? Okay, got that. Note to self. It might be worth it to just tape that sucker down. Yeah, couldn't hurt. Boom. Retain my fingerprints. Indeed, indeed. That's delightful. I think it's a pass. I think it. I think it's a pass. I, I really do. I love this. I love that it's deep enough for a holstered gun. Um, I think it passed our, our rudimentary drop test. Yes. I think that it um, stores great fingerprints and, re and gets those open really well. Uh, it's got the, you know, uh, code if you'd rather do that. USB backup in case you power on. So I could have just plugged it in instead of uh, right. doing the other, but chose not to. Chose to use a key. Keys are... Beefy and good, uh, put those in the safe. I like it. So if you go on Winston's website, uh, this bad boy is 170 bucks. Uh, so it's more obviously than this, but it's more stuff. I love the, the fact that you have anti pry bar features in here. So you can see it's kind of got this little kind of groove, this lip down here. So you have to defeat all that. Um, I, I think it's a good thing. I think that the lock is robust. Mm -hmm. I think that the access is quick via the biometrics or via the, the, the pad. The spring is just right, I think. I think so. I think it's a good sucker. I think that uh, this guy makes a great bedside safe for somebody who wants to keep their handgun holstered. And uh, like I do, I think it makes a great safe. And uh, if- Don't say safe. Yeah, oh gosh darn it, I keep doing that. A great residential security container. Right. Um, and if you weren't taking this home and using it, I probably would. Very good. Yeah, what this is gonna do, folks, is slow someone down. It's not gonna stop anyone, but it's gonna slow them down. And it's gonna keep kids out. That's really the important thing. Yep. So, uh, now, 170 bucks, it's not nothing. But with the features this guy has, the fact that uh, it'll stick around for a long while, you can mount it too, by the way. So it's got the pre-drilled mount holes in it. So if you wanted to mount it to the, to whatever it is, you know, whatever surface you got it on, you, you could do that. You could lag bolt it to the surface if you wanted sure. to. Um, that'd be secure as I'll get out. Like, yeah. There's no drop test of like, well, if I guess if they rip it off the wall. <laughs> tweakers will do amazing things when they think there's- Tweakers with crowbars. Something they can trade for meth. They'll, <laughs> they'll do whatever they can. It's fair. This, I think is good. It's not cheap, but I think it's a good sucker and uh, a good residential security container from uh, one of our sponsors, Winston. Can I have it? Yeah, it's yours, man. Awesome.